Dimensional strike. All right. This time, no mistakes, chat. So Thunderstorm has the highest? Wouldn't have guessed that. I'm kind of just getting the no. Just a couple? Yeah, we might be behind schedule. Our mystery game might be very short. I'm talking like 30 minutes short, so that's probably okay in a sense. Hello? Where are you? God. pop is legal on twitch is it youtube exclusive then so we just got minus 50 percent cooldown i mean our secondary has a cooldown now but that's more than okay it's gonna be huge it's gonna be huge chat tooth pretty Ooh, okay, that one's pretty good. Smash into dust. Very good, very good, actually. Is this when chat finally explains to me what a Yaoi launcher is? From Gungeon? Hello? Okay. Are there roguelike hentai games? Well, actually, there's this... I don't know. What's a what's a hentai chat? Every five hits of SSJ will trigger a soul strike. I guess that's probably the best. I would say. Hentai is art. I mean it is. I actually legitimately believe this. Right? That shit's art. It's like porn actors are actors, right? Are you gonna catch me, you know, uh reviewing that art on the on the Greyhound bus to Detroit? I don't know. No, it's not fair. Healing? Ah, oh, it went down pretty smoothly. Surprisingly. No. Tempting, but no. We shouldn't. God, it's so high though, isn't it? Maybe we could hold on to it for a while, but... Hmm. Here, three sub Grampy alert. Ooh, that'd be fun. I don't know if I can separate like resubs as being tier three, or one, or, one, two, or three. I'm not sure. Hey, poetry. Hmm. Eh. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think that's a yes. I think you usually take it, right? No? I don't know. Maybe you don't. I'm downtown. All right, we have a phantom peddler here that might kind of determine what we end up using. Please, love of God. Ugh. Okay. 
What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Mm. Ugh. Eh. Either agent etching. Minus 30% damage taken. I'm looking at the... Uh... Is it this? That doesn't seem great. Uh, pretty bad. Yeah, one or three. What do you got for me? Not bad. A shark. Don't know about that shark, chatties. It also only has magazine size. Come on! Ah. Yeah. Oh. Terrible. What else we got? Arc light. Ooh, the shrieker. I've never done a shrieker build. So what is it? What kind of bonus do we get here for the shrieker? 100% chance that cudgel deals explosion damage with a six meter AOE and plus 30% total explosion damage for the cudgel. I don't know if I've ever done a shrieker build. Guarantees critical explosion damage after hitting a weak spot. Hitting a barrier causes massive explosion. What do you think about that, chat Ruse? Chat Zinis? Chat City? Okay. That's fine. There's the mortar. It's actually surprisingly low base damage, I just noticed. I mean, not that we have to have the highest, but... Not as good as I would have guessed. Woodpeckler. Hmm. Miracone. Yeah, that's a very old command. Well, very old. Month old. <laughs> Let's see. We're good to go? We're good to go. Oh, whoops. Okay. I didn't expect that to kill it. I had a dream about that scary game we played last night, by the way, chat. I had a dream I was, like, in the game. And I was trying... That, that fridge that had the body in it... Like, I, I, I got, like, stuck inside of it, kind of, but not fully inside of it. Like, my clothes got caught or something. And I was trying to leave, and I was just, like, starting to panic. It wasn't a good dream. I can tell you that much. Okay. Nightmare. It wasn't... It was... It's hard to call it, like, a strictly a nightmare. Oh, another Shrieker? It's also a plus two. But it has an extra... We got a goblet here, huh? It has an extra inscription, so I guess we'll pick it up. Actually, not even necessarily better. Way more magazine size, though. No. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder how this works with uh, the cudgel, if it does at all. That one's actually almost okay, too, but I guess we'll try explosive bullets. Hopefully it works. Change my hat, you say? All right, after this run, we got to eat the spicy gummy bear. Can you remind me, Andy? As far as I can see, basically any weapon effect works with a cudgel. I should hope so. So it basically acts like a weapon shot, like a bullet, essentially, from a weapon. Is one way of looking at it, perhaps? I hope so, at least. That'd be an easy way to look at it, if it is indeed true. Okay. I'm going to keep asking these questions out loud, though, just so you know, because I'm never going to be 100% certain. 
Okay. No, thank you. Bet we move so slow. It spreads elements. Gotcha. Uh, it's got to be Phantom, right? I think that's wise over the crit champ. Yeah, Alucard. I think that's better. Because it increases our crit chance by 10%. Where are the blacksmiths at, huh? It's the peddler. Refresh. Fire enthusiast. I guess we can take this. Ooh, plus 60% skill damage with that, too. That's elemental damage. Checking these. I probably don't want them, though. Doesn't seem worth it. We did get something else, but I don't know if I want it. We already have the Sanguine thing. That sounds pretty scary. I don't think I can take that. There's a Tiger Cannon. Oh, actually, it's pretty much just strictly better than uh, the Shrieker, is it not? Well, I don't think it's as good in combat. But you get a little bit more base damage. So, current base damage is 722. This one's 884. So, it probably grows even more exponentially. It also has Lucky Shot Chance up, which is pretty good. That reload time is good for itself, too. Let's do it. I'll keep the Poisonous Ghost, then. Yeah, that reload time is very, very useful, is it not? I liked the Shrieker, so it's a little bit too bad, but I haven't really done a run with that either, but it kind of winds up being in the same place, right? Brewski with lunch, because it's been a shit week. Sounds good. Crack him if you got him, chat. Wife and I will have to crack some. I think we skipped the Gemini again, right? Do I buy that? Maybe not. Let's see, what else you got? Uh... Ah, just screw it. Buy it. When secondary skill count is zero, that's actually not bad for us. I would say. That bone dragon. It's the same. So it has the same base damage as it. Double the projectile for next shot when hitting two targets in a single shot. Wow. Wow, those... So, okay. That's actually hard. Because those inscriptions are really strong, aren't they? They seem a bit better. Hmm. I don't know. Hey, Tarhaya. We gotta pick one. 20% chance to gain one more projectile. I mean, these are okay. If you never shoot, does an 80% count for every cudgel? Maybe? I don't know. That's really, really hard to know. Good gosh. By golly. 80% is a lot. I've never really done a bone dragon run either. Even more so, I'd say. Use both? I was thinking that. But I have to upgrade one now. That's kind of hard to decide. I'm going to do the Bone Dragon. I, I, have, I have spoken. Eh. I have spoken. spoken. Bone Dragage? How embarrassing. Oh, 
Bonk. Bonk. Oh, that's so unfair when that hits you, I feel. Oh, oh, it's dead somehow. Okay, that works. <laughs> See, it's just better than the last run. That's all it is. Ooh, that's nice. No, thank you. No, thank you. And no, thank you. Please help me. Let me take the damage. Plus 25%. Hiya, damn. Wait, so this should affect the cudgel, right? It's my birthday, so you're gifting? Woo, thank you so much, Raya, and happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Raya. Happy birthday, Captain Raya. All right, that's enough of that. I'm sorry. Thank you so much, Jahai. I appreciate that. We are eating a spicy gummy bear right after this run. Okay. There's an episode where there's a science fair, I believe. Lisa was growing a very large fruit, which Bart took and smashed on Principal Skinner's butt. What fruit was it? It's not Eye of Providence. You suck, huh? I guess that's field profici proficiency. A tomato is a giant tomato. To get back at Bart, Lisa instead does a science project to find out if Bart is smarter than a what? Hamster is correct. She even electrifies a certain sugary food product to see if Bart would keep falling for it and keep, keep trying to grab it. What was that snack? A cupcake! That is true. Bart found out about this and decided to have his own science fair project that wound up taking first prize. What was that is the best way I guess I can uh, ask it. What was Bart's presentation? Can hamsters fly little miniature planes? It's true. And that's the tooth. Whoa, okay, where'd you come from? And raspberry. Okay. I'm trying to think what episode this was. I don't I think this is like a totally different episode way later in the seasons. I think it's like Homer has a, they're talking about Homer's alcoholism again. And Homer pulls a flask out of what book while talking to Marge about it. This is like much later on. I don't remember the rest of the episode. I just remember that one scene, to be honest. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah, that was a little more obscure, and it's a much later season, I think. But I that scene, always, this scene has always stuck with me. They're, I think they're in bed. The fake episode? It's not! <laughs> It's the Bible! And he said, and so he's drinking from the flask. And, uh. And he's like, no wonder they call it the good book. Or something like that. Uh. It's a real scene, but it's probably like, uh. The seasons that people don't watch or something like that. All right, we got some cooldown on this, at least. Hello? Oh, hello. Okay. 
Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. No, thank you, Demon Lore. Hmm. What was the batch tainted with that the tour guide brought up? Ooh, I don't remember. It was on CNN? I think you guys lost me. I don't even remember that. Is that that same episode? Is that when the guy's like, are you sure? It was all over the news. Um, That's kind of bad. It has bad synergy with another scroll we have, I believe. Unless I think I'm gonna... Yeah, gold medal. Oh, when you use the primary skill or dash. Oh. I kind of like Ostrich Rider anyway. And these other scrolls kind of suck for us. I mean, I don't think Bear Paw does a whole lot here. Not positive. This episode always stuck in my mind for some reason. The episode where they make Lisa babysit for Bart. Lisa has a, uh, what do you call it? Like a nightmare about what the people will say. When they find out that Bart got her under her supervision. What was Dr. Hibbett's diagnosis in her vision? Nightmare, whatever it is. Bad case of bad babysitting. It's true, or bad, bad babysitter, yeah. Awful big bunk of the no bump on the noggin. Hmm. I haven't even seen that episode recently, but I don't know why it sticks in my head. Ah! Those kids 100% needed a separate babysitter. <laughs> Alright, you ready for some movie trivia? Randomly? Really random. What was... The robber's nickname in Home Alone? Like their gang nickname or whatever you want to call it. The Wet Bandits! It's true. Terrible. Okay, I guess. Terrible. They're sticky in the sequel? Oh, I don't remember the sequel. The New York one was actually pretty good, wasn't it? Okay, so we have plus 50% health from Sanguine, so we probably want max health. Assuming we keep that. Yeah, the second one was pretty good, right? House man. Okay. Plus 11, Bone Dragon. It's got D-Trump in it. I don't remember that at all. I wish I could think of uh, trivia about Beethoven for y'all. But I'm not so certain I can. God, you're so far away. Ooh, Jesus. I need to like reload or something here. Where's my damage? Brave little toaster. I gotta watch that movie again. I don't really remember it. Ooh, nice. We like. Um. Is it boss damage we want or? I still feel like it might be bossy damage. 
I'm gonna say. Homer Band 2. I think I've seen it, but I don't remember it. Hmm. No, 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 no. I always like the random rare scroll with any of these, right? Coin shot? I mean, I guess. This one where we have... I can't remember which run it is because I died so much. Not the one where we have plus 80% or whatever. Quest for Camelot? Mm, don't think I've seen it. Don't think I've seen Quest for Camelot. There's some uh, like famous movies I've never seen. Like uh, there was one I was thinking of recently because I saw it around. Sword in the Stone. I don't know. Maybe that's not that famous, but whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, it's kind of interesting. And maybe I'm wrong about this. How do you guys feel about this? I feel like Elijah Wood is not as pigeon held to his role, his famous role as Frodo, as Daniel Radcliffe is to Harry Potter. Ooh, that's kind of good. I don't think I want to let. Especially with Sanguine. I'm wrong, you think? Opposite opinion? You think it's worse? Elijah Wood is actually good at acting. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Wife heard that. Now she's upset, chat. Look what you did. Have I seen Wilfred? No. Uh, Wombo combo is good for us. Elijah Wood broke out. Broke out of it pretty hard with all the horror stuff right after. He has horror stuff? I'll be honest. I don't know if I can name a lot of other Elijah Wood roles, though. I know he's in the Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, and he was in Sin City, at the least. That's all I can really think of. I don't know what he's done lately, to be honest. Uh... He was in The Good Son with Macaulay Culkin. Was he? I hated that movie when I was a kid. I hated that movie. That movie scared the shit out of me. I was like legitimately scared of that movie. Sure. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Daniel Radcliffe played Harry Potter for way longer. That is true, I think. Um, we're gooching, right? We're gooching. Oh, I had a good, I had a, a good general movie. Okay, lightning round kind of thing. Name the rabbit from Bambi. Dead. Thumper is correct. Bumper is indeed correct. Name the skunk. I don't remember now. I haven't seen Bambi in so long. All right. Uh, I think we do Unstoppable Phantom for sure, right? The boss damage. The boss damage. Farter. Pepe. Old Pepe Le Pew. What do you got? No. No? Not very good uh, blessings after the first, huh? Can you name... I think the battering ram in Return of the King, the big pig, had a name. 
At least according to the subtitles it did. Because they were all chanting its name. Can you name the battering ram? Grand is correct. It's, I mean, if it, if it had a name, then it was probably shown in the books. <laughs> They're just chanting Grand, Grand, Grand. Nicely done, Kaladin. Grand, Grand, Grand. And I was like, what? That thing's got a name? Oh. Uh... We'll do this first. Oh, I had, did I did I do the second boss fight? I don't remember. It was a meme on Reddit. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, beat the third boss. It's looking pretty strong, so maybe I should have. Uh, we should do a spicier bet. I don't know. Even if we have all the damage, it's like it's kind of easy to throw, to be honest. Hey, Nissan. What's this beast mode? You know, just. It's just me being me, basically. Go! I don't know why the cooldown is just like going down so fast, but I can practically just spam it. Fine. I am beast mode, you know, right chat? Uh, we'll probably take that. Hmm. No. Unless this is, like, really strong. It's kind of late to be getting this a little bit, too. Uh, for every hundred copper. Hmm. Yeah. It's fun, at least. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. I got a tough one. This is kind of a well-known... Semi-well-known, uh... Easter egg, I guess you could call it, in Lord of the Rings. Who played the elf that told Arwen it's, like, time to go, you can't delay or something, right before she was supposed to get on the ship? This rather famous comedian slash musician. Not Ed Sheeran. You're thinking of Game of Thrones. Please die. Not Weird Al. I'll give you a hint. They're from New Zealand. <laughs> you know the scene. You don't know the actor. It is the Flight of the Concords guy. I'll see if anyone can uh, name him first. Not Jermaine. I don't think Jermaine was in Lord of the Rings. It's Brett. It was Brett. It doesn't really look that much like him. Brit. Yes. Yes. Hmm. All right, I got one. It's not very hard. The weasley little piece of shit that worked for Saruman that was whispering in Th Theoden's ear the whole time. I, they only say his name a couple times, so I can understand not knowing it, honestly. Wormtongue. Rima Wormtongue is correct. I don't know. Ah, I got a good one. Ooh, weapon attacks and hero skills. Instantly kill normal enemies and elites with less than 20% HP. Probably. No. Ooh, but that one's really good too. Ooh, baby. That one's kind of hard, actually. What do you think, chat? Watch versus enhanced final judgment. I got another one. Who played Aomir? They became quite famous afterwards. Who played Aomir in the Lord of the Rings movie? I don't know. 
this might I don't know if this is like a breakthrough role for them or anything like that but Carl Urban Kaladin says final judge Forgetti says to watch Carl Urban is correct V dude's just making shit up, I swear. He seemed popular after that. He did, yeah. I didn't know him before that. Yeah, he was he played Dread later on, right? Hmm. There's gotta be something else I can ask. Uh. Yeah, okay. Boner Dragon. Okay, this one we do not have a Gemini, so. Oh, wombo combo is pretty good. Every three hits of essence chain equals three cudgel hits. It's pretty good, actually, I'd say. Can you please get the crabs? Thank you. Don't need that mortar. What? Okay. Damn it. How much damage up to now? 32 mil. I have zero synergies. Boom. Did I think of one? I thought of one. It's pretty mild. The name of the head of the Nazgul. Ugh. Yes? Not the Lich King. Angmar! Close enough, probably. The Witch King of Angmar. There might be a more elaborate name that I'm not aware of. Man, these are terrible. I think there's really no point in that one. Ah, uh, okay, I got one, I got one, I got one. Who can be seen in Fellowship of the Ring? Who can be seen in the town of Bree eating a carrot drunkenly? Oh, not Stephen Colbert. What? Stephen? No. Where are y'all getting the Stephen? Was Stephen Colbert actually in this and I wasn't aware of it? He was in it? Well, I don't know. Hey, he might could have been in it, but it's not the scene I'm thinking of. Oh, you're thinking of The Hobbit. I'll give you more hints. They're also from New Zealand. Y'all trying to confuse me over there. Both Stephen Colbert and Peter Jackson himself appear in Bree. Wait, in Fellowship of the Ring? It was Peter Jackson. Wait, where is Stephen Colbert? Reloading him for four seconds. No. Uh, Orny Carapace? I don't know. Who's second cameo in The Hobbit? Gotcha. It was indeed, uh... Oh, did I get a synergy? I kind of forgot. Skill damage. 
There's also a guy who gets shot in the extended cut of return. I wish I was able to watch the extended cut. Uh, or reloading. It's kind of stink. I guess that's okay. All right, let's go. What's on the pirate bow? Hmm. Okay, general movie trivia. What is the famous sound effect used by many filmmakers when a character screams? What's it called? The Wilhelm scream. Howard Dean, what? I can't do it at all. It's very specific, isn't it? Ooh, woo? Uh, it's not really that great for us, but whatever. Hey, we got another Earth Synergy. It's so noticeable when it doesn't belong. They use it a handful of times in the trilogy, I think. It's definitely in Lord of the Rings at least a couple of times. Ugh. Get rid of a cult booster now, I think. What did they use to make the Balrog noises? Oh, I don't know, actually. It's not a weird, like, microphone trick again, is it? Like the Star Wars and the lightsabers? <laughs> a real Balrog? Get out. Okay. Is Cinder Block being dragged on a wooden floor? Oh, that's very particular, I gotta say. The sound effect designs of movies is actually really interesting to... Like, if you watch, like, a video or a documentary that kind of talks about it, they're actually really interesting. My goat bleat? I think it's a bit too high-pitched for that. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I don't know where I'm going here. Imagine watching Lord of the Rings and being like, was that Dan? <laughs> If you pitch shift it up a bit, it probably or down rather, I should say, it probably it would probably uh, you know, you, you just uh, tone it down enough, it'll probably sound something like it. <laughs> uh, can you say the iconic line with my high pitched voice? I have a high pitched voice. Wait, are you talking about from Lord of the Rings or talking about the nun shall pass or? Is this a Sandy the Line Bart moment? Any movie? Um, I'll be back. How was that, chat? You think I'll get a call from Juilliard any day soon? Ooh. Ooh, woo? Uh, there's definitely some stuff we don't need. Careful, don't want to get DMC. <laughs> Let's see. We don't have any curse scrolls. And we upgrade the bony dragon. I don't know what the actual line bar is supposed to say. Tell him, chat. What is the famous line that Bard is asked to say? Oh, you already got it. I didn't do it. Okay, here's more Simpsons trivia. We're just full of trivia today. Uh... What was Homer's suggestion for a kooky phrase for Lisa that Bart ends up using when he fails on the Krusty the Clown show? Kind of hard to describe that, I guess, but did the best that we could. Wizzle Wazzle is correct. Wizzle Wazzle? The audience was not happy, to say the least. Hey. 
Spam it. Start spamming. All right, they're apparently all dead. Can anyone fit uh finish the title of a adult film, very old adult film, but you can probably guess. And I think it's actually used in perhaps some songs and things like that. Wham bam, thank you. Blank. Can you finish it for me, chat? Ma'am, so ma'am was you heard in places, but what's the one that's the famous adult film? Ma'am, you heard in the David Bowie song, right? Belching? Oh my god. Deep throat? What? Thank you, Anonymous Radiator Hose. Oh my god. Thank you, Space Jam. Incredibly close. Incredibly close. Spaceman is correct. Wham, bam, thank you, Spaceman. How do I know this? Ah, we don't need to discuss that, now do we? Is there more enemies? I don't want to know what Xander Lion's been watching in their free time, but... Ah, there's monkeys! Okay... Where are these enemies coming from now? Oh, there's a... Come on, a ship here. Dead yet? My golly. Hmm. You learn that Dallas and Debbie does Dallas as a person and not the city of Dallas? I've never seen Debbie does Dallas, but I assumed that it was about a gangbang in Dallas. You provide an answer, not an explanation. More than fair. Was one of the actors' names just Dallas? Ooh, plus 50% weapon D. Heck yes. I don't know how much that is worth it. Oh, it's per second? Yeah, sure. It's worth it. Okay. There was probably a blacksmith if we backpedal, but it's a lot of work. Rip the curse scroll immunity, huh? Huh? You lost me. Why is Mayo a tag? Why is it not? Oh, you thought I trashed it now. Daddy kept that one. Uh, I guess Lone Ranger is okay. I end up trashing something else. I don't remember what. Sour cream than mayo. Mayo's more like an off-white, like eggshell color. Sour cream is more pure white, isn't it? Hmm. It's an interesting dilemma. Where are you? I gotta say, I don't know why that stupid show on Netflix. I bet everyone even knows what I'm talking about just from describing it. It has the stupidest looking thumbnail. It's a reality competition. 
It's got the worst. It looks like one of my terrible clickbait thumbnails. What happened? Oh. The cake one. Is it cake? And it's just got the goofiest looking fucking face on it I've ever seen before in my life. I feel like I got to pull it up. Remind me at the end of the run, which will be shortly. I think we tried to watch it. And it's just like, ugh. It's just like, no, no, no. Buy my house was pretty mediocre, but it was still kind of just interesting to see the prices of houses right now a little bit. We tried to watch like uh, another reality show about houses called Instant Dream Makeover or something. It's just so ridiculous. They gave themselves 12 hours to make over a house, like totally replacing the kitchen and everything. And they keep dramatizing the time factor of it. And it's like, just do it in a normal amount of time. I don't trust you to make over my house and have it be like actually secure in 12 fucking hours. When they're like, we don't know if we're going to make it. We're going to have to crane in the new kitchen. It's just like, that's ridiculous. Why are you playing with my goddamn house like that? Why would you do this? It's a terrible idea. It's like, of course you're going to make it also. The freaking TV show. You know how pissed everyone would be if you didn't make it? And I like it how... Uh, in every episode, it's like, we're going to focus on the garden. Yeah, because the garden's fucking easy to make over. You can landscape like that. That shit takes a couple hours. You landscape outside a house. I swear to God, they spend 99% uh, of their time just working on the fucking garden every time. Now I really don't need that. They don't even, like, add on to the house at all. Like, the first family, they're talking about, like, we don't really have enough space in the house. We have a baby on the way. We're taking care of my mother. And, you know, we don't have a lot of space. They didn't give them more space for it. Where are they going to get space? It's not like they added onto the house. No, they just dragged all their shit out of the house. Probably threw it in one of those stupid pod uh, units or whatever. And it was just like, good luck. Because now you got double the furniture. Like, what are they going to do with all that stuff now? Going to have a fucking yard sale? Can we hit something, please? Oh, my God. Oh, there's another horrible, horrible reality show. I had to watch the first 20 minutes because I knew it would be ridiculous. It was, uh, marry or move on, marry or move on. So it's these young couples that are giving their spouse a ultimatum. Either we get you propose at the end of this stupid reality show or we break up. And it's just like, oh, oh my God, it's so terrible. It's so terrible. I can't stand it, yet I'm still hate watching it to a degree. You know what I mean? I just can't stand it. And you know what they do during the show? You know what they do? They have, so they have like four or five couples, right? And they're staying at this hotel resort type of place. They have to go on dates with other people from other couples to determine if they should stay with their spouse or not. It's like, that doesn't make any sense. What do you mean? It makes no sense. There's some couples like in the first five fucking minutes of the show, it's just like, oh, they're done for. They're done for. Yep. Yep, they're done for. No chance. It's like, none of these people should be getting married whatsoever. I assume that it's all bullshit and it's all just struggling actors. By the way. Oh, thank you, Andy. Uh... That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's all pretty much fake. People kind of just uh, doing it up for the camera, essentially. You know what I mean? That's what I'm hoping, at least. Down on the boss? I forgot. Sorry. I, we can't lose. Come on. You see this D? You see this sweet D?
Ba, 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 ba. Come on, hit it, hit it. All right, it has a cooldown now. I was wondering what the delay was. Bonk. And ba-ba, ba-ba, ba Dead. Easy. I barely had to shoot the weapon, really. I didn't fire one shot. It was truly unnecessary. The E button got out of control, mostly because the cooldown reductions, honestly. That's what it was. When 16 mil. It wasn't, I wouldn't call it a very easy build, but it is something that lets you potentially use high base damage, slow weapons at least. So if you wanted to use something like the uh, Tiger Cannon, Mortar, Bone Dragon, etc., uh, then that would work essentially. I show the build, it'd be kind of hard to show literally everything. We just went down the east tree, if that helps you. And the big thing was dimensional strike for the blessing. Dimensional strike is big. Uh, nothing. These other two weren't particularly special. Then we just had a high base damage weapon with the bone dragon. And yeah, ascension. Sorry. Yeah. We got mostly the cooldowns. I didn't get a lot of the damage ones. Oh, wombo combo was pretty big, probably. Every three essence chain strikes equal equal three cudgel strikes or something. I think that's actually kind of big for this one. 